Hi guys, so welcome back to ASMR with Jay. And today I'm going to tell you guys the setup that I have, which is pretty simple for my ASMR. And I want to tell you guys this because it took me a while <laughs> to realize <clears throat> what was going wrong. So my setup is a Canon G7X. That's my camera. Hi. Hi. And I have the Yeti mic, as you can see. And it has all these different settings. Um, now this is the thing that I'm really excited about because I couldn't find why my Yeti mics wasn't producing the sound that I really, the sound or the quality that I really, really wanted. And I noticed a lot of people in my comments were saying that they like the old mic, but I did so much critiquing to try to get that mic to be what it needed to be. So that, therefore, that's why I switched to the Yeti mic because I thought it was going to be better. And when <clears throat> someone told me that they like my old mic, I was like, okay, I'm going to just switch to my old mic because I wasn't liking the quality of my Yeti mic. So when I went to switch to my old mic, it doesn't work anymore. And I was like, what is going on? I was recording out of QuickTime because I watched another um, YouTuber's video, ASMR YouTuber's video, and they said that they record at a QuickTime. And I was like, that's on my MacBook, so I'll record at a QuickTime. And I was like, well, why isn't my quality sounding like everyone else's quality? Like when they rub on the mic. When I rub on the mic, it wasn't sounding... I, I couldn't hear the sounds so I thought it was the Yeti mic so this mic right here is my third Yeti mic <laughs> because I really thought it was the mic it took a lot of research for me to actually find out what was going on and I realized that like I said it wasn't my mic it was actually the software that I was recording into. I found this software and I believe a lot of ASMR or just YouTubers use this, but if you don't use it, you should because it just makes everything more crisp and better. It is called Audacity. And it's a free download software and it makes everything better. Like if I was to tap on the slip gloss, you could hear it. So I'm super excited. Uh, I'm loving it. And if you're not using it, you should. It just makes everything, especially with ASMR, more crisp. The sounds are better. The sounds are more enhanced. And that was the main reason for making this video. Because this um, software that I found is the best software. And it makes a difference. It really does. I also, when I want to hang my mic upside down, like this, I have Rode mics there and there, but I have two Rode mics, and so, uh, no, they're Rode arms. I have two Rode arms there and there. And it's really good when you want to get the microphone out of the way. I will link everything in the description below. I will link my camera, the Yeti mic, the Rode 
arms that I have for my Yeti mic and it really works wonders. I think I used I used the rolled arms in my Valentine video. I used it in a few videos, but when I'm in this location with this background, I just always have my mic in front of me. <laughs> and um Oh, I also bought, because everybody was raving about the ring light. Okay, so I bought the ring light and I found out it wasn't for me because of the simple fact that I have glasses on and the reflect, the reflector, well, the reflection from the ring light would be in my glasses and it wasn't, it didn't look good at all. So I made a couple videos with the ring light, but I sent it back because I realized that I would have to be blind in every video because I wouldn't be able to wear my glasses with the ring light. So what I do have is when I need extra light, I have soft boxes. And I will link that in the description below. My soft boxes that I have when I need just extra light. Usually I don't need extra light, but when I do need extra light, I have two soft boxes that's here. One that sits overhead and they work wonders. Especially when you have glasses, you won't see that reflection in your glasses. So I really, really like my soft boxes. And I think that's it. I know for my other setup, I also have a table that I um, put my road. But here, I'll show you guys what my road because they're in here. I realize this isn't a good picture of the road arms, but yeah anyway so if you look in the background you will see like my little rinky dink black sheet actually it is just a sheet that i use for my background in my living room don't laugh because i've made a lot of videos behind i mean well in front of that sheet and once you turn on the lights you really can't tell so those were my road arms so you see what I'm talking about and they're actually just on a foldable table a black foldable table and they really do work wonders when you want to get the mic out of the way um, a lot of times during the day I record in here because there is a lot of noise in there because you just hear all the cars passing and in a lot of my videos that I try to do during the day in there it would be so noisy I would just stop I think the last time I recorded during the day in there was my Valentine video yeah and, and I had to keep cutting it because it was these cars that kept coming and I'm like what is going on and like every ASMR knows that once you start trying to record a video, there is so much background noise that starts. The dogs come out. Every car wants to pass down your street. You just hear the kids want to come out and everybody wants to start more on their grass. Like it's just so much noise that comes when it's time to start recording <laughs> but before then it's very quiet and that can really get frustrating but yeah so that's my setup i have my canon g 7x camera and it's really really nice it's a small camera you can take it places a lot of times when i'm doing um, other videos i always use this camera because it's so small it has a flip up a monitor so you can see yourself like I'm looking at myself right now to make sure that 
what you want in the camera you can see it and so that's really good um like i said i have the yeti microphone the blue yeti mic which is really great really 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 great really great and it's only really great because of the software if you don't have a good software the microphone isn't going to perform with the best of its abilities and that's what I had to learn I thought it was a microphone like I said that's why I changed it out three times but I finally figured it out that it was the software so the best free software I'm using it now you can see uh oh and I love it love it love it so I record in there then I do the noise reduction hold on there we go I record in there I do the noise reduction in there and then I just take it out and do any cuts with my video in Adobe oh I don't ha I do have Adobe Premiere so I do all the editing in Adobe Premiere and I'm actually going to link this guy he is so wonderful he shows you how to use audacity for asmr so i'm gonna put his link in the description because he is amazing and you know you guys should go subscribe to his channel because he really shows you and it's just the simple things that you know that can really just make your video and your quality much better so I think that is it, but I will link everything in the description that I talked about. Actually, while well, I'm going to look up his name before I leave, Bearded Audio ASMR. So you can go check him out. I'm going to leave his link in the description below because he is amazing. Until my next video.